Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Red Mama Show, a special edition, because when the Admiral is away, the Pirates are going to play. Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? Thank you for joining all of the Pirates. Barbara is in the house. We got Stephanie, who made pineapple fluff today. And ahoy to all of our pineapple pirates and our fearless leaders. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound more cultish. I don't know what does. <laughs> Debbie's in the house. Peace, love, and sunshine's on the ship. And let's read our prayer. Dear the Heavenly Father, please place your protected hands on Red Mama and especially the Admiral Red right now and all the pineapple pirates. In this name of our only Savior, Yeshua, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, a special prayer and, and, and good wishes and best of health going out to our Admiral that he feels better. He may pop on. I told him he could pop on if he wants and jump out whenever he doesn't feel too well. But, yeah, he if he doesn't feel up to it, then he won't. He's super not feeling good. Let's see. Debbie, we got Barbara and Peace. We got my girl Riddle in the house. Fight for freedoms in the house. Yancy's in the house. We got Duda on the ship. We got Love of Night on the ship. Lucky me, Linda's in the house. We got Spall in the house. Miss Gladys in the house. Jinji is in the house. Lucky me, Linda's got two disclaimers. So let me read them in the house. Disclaimer for the Red Mama Show. 21 plus adult chat. All comments, statements, and or opinions by chat or guests are totally their own. And do not make them the opinions or the beliefs of the host or vice versa. And she has her own special one up. Lucky me, Linda does. And you do not have permission to use her name or statements for your content. Signed, Lucky me, Linda. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Betty's in the house. Hello. So pineapple fluff, is that like whipped cream and pineapple? Or is that like marshmallow and pineapple? Just curious. <laughs> you like the image of Red Mom at the wheel. <laughs> Whatever it's called on the ship. I call it the wheel. It's the steering wheel. It tells you where to go. It's a steering wheel. I still haven't learned all the pirate lingo. I know the booty. That means the gold. <laughs> I know about eye patches. We made the thong eye patches. <laughs> Snow White, that was the most funnest. I think that was the funnest one we had. Was <laughs> the the uh, the the thong eye patches? Sandra's in the house. Pineapple soaked in moonshine, girl, girl. Where are you been? <laughs> you can soak anything in moonshine. <laughs> you can soak anything in moonshine, and the outcome's going to be the same. Um, is Spall in the house? I need to talk with Spall. Is Spall in the house? I didn't see him. I didn't call his name out. Spall, where the hell are you? There you are. I didn't even get to say it. Spall. That video short you just posted was insane. Somebody, please. Oh, you know, yeah, y'all go watch it. Link his video. I don't want to take his views. No, I definitely don't want to take his views. And after you see it, I want, I want to give it a thumbs up if you think it is 100% on point. Spall, that shit was so freaking funny. I just got it sit I had to look at it. <laughs> We're getting better. That is that the old Spall or is that the new Spall? Is that the old hash browns or the new hash browns? Or is hash brown Spall? Oh, the world may never know.
No. That was the funniest shit I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Because if you're not familiar with what he's referring to, <laughs> it's the Adam's apple that's building up in somebody's neck region. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get a mother just to see it again. Hold on. Thank you, Riddle. Guys, jump out and go watch it. It's totally worth me losing a couple minutes of views because this shit is funny as shit. It's so funny. Yes, I'm pausing for just a minute. I want everyone to check that out. <laughs> Sydney swears by it. <laughs> Actually, okay. Have you guys been turkey hunting? Anybody here turkey hunting? So you, okay. So there's like different ways to call a turkey. I know I'm going off on this tangent. Just bear with me. So there is different ways to call a turkey. There's different turkey callers. Like, you know, there's the mouth ones that you could like stick in your mouth and you could call uh, a turkey, uh, turkey calls. There's the ones that you, you can uh, scratch. Like it's like a little round circle and I don't know what it's made of, like marble or something, but you take that little pencil, that a pencil like figure that comes with it and you, uh, 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 and you could you scrape it across the top and it makes the turkey call sounds there's also a box okay there's also a box that you could use and all you do is it's like a box that's really tight and it's wood made of wood and when you open and close the box side to side because it doesn't open up and down it opens side to side but as you open it up side to side it makes it <laughs> It makes the fucking turkey calls, but I'm just going to see if this will work because let me see if when someone goes live after uh, after let me see let's see let's see hold on wait after I play this here it is I just wonder if anybody's going to come hold on volume up. My phone's slow. This one is. Go. Well, this is a letdown, isn't it? All right, it's not going to play. Anyway, it was Turkey Gobbles. It was really funny. It would have been. Just imagine I play a real original Turkey Gobbles. <laughs> You don't have to imagine it. I did it. It worked. <laughs> oh, and the turkey arrived. 
Good afternoon, Admiral Red. I hope you're feeling better, honey. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I haven't made you smile <laughs> yet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make that my ringtone. <laughs> the gobbler. <laughs> Calling all turkeys. <laughs> Slowly they're arriving. Oh you jive turkey. We have a ton of turkeys running. We do too. Yeah, yeah, you better hurry up. I don't, I, I can't make any promises how long I'm going to keep this ship afloat. Because we're going to rock it like a G6. <laughs> Every time she gets on stream, that's <laughs> all I hear is red. Red. <laughs> Turkey. Turkey everywhere. <laughs> what is a flock of turkeys called? Is it a flock? What's a group of turkeys? Somebody look at it. I can't I can, but it's just gonna take my phone forever because my other phone needs reset. And so it is. Is it a flock? <laughs> is it a flock of turkeys? It's not a gaggle. You're making me giggle. <laughs> Somebody, a turkey flock name. Turkey flock name. I don't know. Hold on. Let me ask Google. I'll tell you. A rafter or a flock. Oh, it could have been a flock. <laughs> Oh, a group of turkey hens is called a harem. Ooh, so that makes turkeys pimps, right? <laughs> so let's get this right. So we have a turkey with a big gullet, or what? I, I can't call it a gullet. Whatever they call them, the 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 things under their neck. Gullet, gullet, whatever it's called, the big access, excess of skin buildup at the neck region, middle area, whatever that's called. And then we have that turkey who has like five other hens around her. So I guess that turkey must have a harem. <laughs> Is it called a waddle? I'm not remembering chicken sex ever again. Chicken sex is not what you think it is, guys. If you really, really want to insult a guy, just say, oh, you have the penis the size of a chicken. You wanna know why? Because chickens don't have penises. They just rub butts together, I guess. I know. It's crazy. They don't have, they don't, there's no penile organ there. It's, they all live in a bordello. <laughs> hey, yeah, a raptor or a flock. Thank you, Viper for Freedom. Good night, Barbara. Hugs and kisses, sweet dreams. Don't think about Chucky's harem. <laughs> <It depends. laughs> what came first the turkey or the egg the question <laughs> the question came first how are you doing freebird are you having a wonderful taco tuesday Mrs. P, hey, hey, y'all. What's going on? 
Red, what are we going to do with Red Mama? Red's sick. He's probably not going to answer. He's probably just barely listening. <coughs> he sounded rough earlier, and I was talking to him, and you guys hear all how energetic and all this stuff I am. Well, you know, I'm all blah, 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 blah. He's like, okay, okay, okay. And then he was like, uh, I was like, so, folks going to want a place to go? Are you going live? He's like, probably not. I'm really sick. I'm like, well, I'll do it. You can drop me that blah, 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 blah. I'm all like, <laughs> working, working, not too fast. Crikey, crikey, there's been a sighting. Shit, I am being harassed and stalked. Crikey, <laughs> what do I do? Oh shit, I do. I can. You just have to wait a minute. I'm sorry. I can't while I'm on stream here. Totally forgot that the other day. I do it all the time. I didn't even look. Bears said this morning on my live stream. Oh, I want to, you know, give you a call. She said, no rush. You know, I said, okay, I'll call you right after the stream. You know, I didn't get back to her until right before the stream because my, um, I have brain farts. Had a block of mozzarella cheese. After I cut the mold off, it was a size that won't constipate me. Freebird, are you saying you cut the cheese? Freebird. Did you cut the cheese? <laughs> you can never finish cheese on time. Well, because you're probably drinking wine with it. A little cheese with your wine. <laughs> You'll be cutting the cheese later on. <laughs> Woo! Wee! <laughs> Bring out the, uh, what are they called? The incense. Bring out the incense. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great Taco Tuesday. Did anybody actually have tacos today? Saw the Z. Sawing the Z's while cutting the cheese. <laughs> Junior sounds interested. <laughs> Junior sounds interested. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> I don't know who's game enough to pull Freebird's finger. I wouldn't pull nobody's finger. I learned a long time ago. Fajitas. Yeah, that's Cerca de Maciado. Yeah, it's really close. I think I had Mexican Monday. I didn't have Tacos Tuesday. I had Mexican Monday. I made meatloaf Tuesday. What's going on, West Vintage? How are you? <laughs> I don't know what Master Driller said. I was only offered a pink taco today, but I'm too sick for that shit. Oh, Well, no matter what color it was, you should have uh, ate something. I hope you're eating. <sighs> At least eat some crackers, peanut butter crackers, something. Make you feel better. Yeah, don't eat any bad meat. <laughs> Maybe chicken because, like, chicken noodle soup is healthy. Maybe chicken tacos are healthier. Peaches are good. Vegetables and fruits. Don't eat too many fruits, though, because they have natural sugars. So, yeah, I learned that. But it's creamy free root. Don't eat nothing with cream because it's usually white shit, and don't eat white shit. Don't eat white shit, guys. <laughs> 
Oh my God, our friend. Chicken broth and toast. Yep. Or curtains. I call them curtains, but they're croutons. You know, the croutons that you put in soups and salads. The square croutons. Yeah. I call them curtains. I always say, oh, you want some curtains? You know, AJ still eats a whole bag of curtains if I do. <laughs> I swear he would. I will get one time like, where the hell are my curtains? And he's like, oh, I had some. I'm like, all oh, of them? They're fucking curtains. They go in things. It's not a snack. He didn't know. They were like, I don't know, uh, ranch flavored or something. Chicken broth and toast. It'll cause you more mucus. What will? Peaches, fake meat, pink tacos. I don't know. Yeah, you don't want more mucus. You want less mucus. Dry it up, Admiral. Stag's beef stew. That's probably what he needs. I'll have to I'll have to make some phone calls. <laughs> Anybody on here from the convoy that still has that beef stew they gave away like two years ago. I think a cans are good for what, like five though? Some of them. Creamy peak taco. Oh my gosh, that's so disgusting. Don't do cream because then it's White shit, sour cream, all that cream is cream is white. Strawberry cream, if there's such a thing, I don't know. <laughs> chocolate cream, <gasps> chocolate cream pie. That's not white. Monster, that's my go-to when I'm sick. And ginger ale. A lot of people do the ginger ale. No, I don't do cream cheese either. I don't eat cream cheese. It's white. I don't eat cream cheese. Not at all. Not at all. Clear cream too. Is that like Thousand Island dressing? Because it's clear? It's got little specks in it though. Like carrots and celery or whatever. Maybe onions. I don't know. I don't know about clear cream. He needs some jazzy stew. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. That cures everything. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon or good evening. QGG is on the ship. How you doing, beautiful? No, I don't like ranch dressing. Now, I'll have the flavor of ranch. Like, I'll eat ranch chips. But I won't eat ranch dressing, and the chips are not white, they're yellow. <laughs> Just to let y'all know before I get that fucking comment. <laughs> Clear cream is good for your elbow skin. Is that like that Eucinesa gel? Like it's lotion, but it's Vaseline lotion. U Uticrin? Uticrin? I can't remember the name of it. They give it to you after you have a baby. You know, C-sections and stuff. Because it's good for, like, scars. Any scars. Just, it's called, like, Uticream or something. Uterson. Starts with an E. I'm saying you, but it's E-R. Uterson or some shit. Elbow skin. That's what the roughest parts of your body sometimes. I don't like that, but mine has aloe vera in it. Oh, aloe vera is very good for the skin. I I used to use aloe vera in Me whenever I was in Mexico all the time. They used aloe vera for everything, everything, everything. There's so many uses for it. You know, like here we just use it pretty much, you know, for like uh, uh, ointment, you know, for bites or whatever. But yeah, there's a lot of uses for it. You guys should, that's worth Googling. Oh, speaking of Googling and stuff, I did Google and find a very wonderful woman in history today. And her name was Ada Lovelace. And we're talking back in the mid 1800s. Okay. The mid 1800s. We're talking way before a lot of things. She is attributed to being the first computer programmer. 
Yeah. So the shit we're using today, the foundation of all this shit was from Ada Lovelace. And she she was uh I mean, she she passed away very young, but she was way beyond she she was born too early. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Ada Lovelace. Y'all should Google her, check her out. But just think that what we're talking on right now, all this would not be possible if that chick didn't come about. Because she was, it didn't say the first woman computer programmer. No, she's attributed to being the first computer programmer, period. And for any woman to do anything back in the 18, mid 1800s, you know, yeah, that's. I think she was born in like 1812, like super long ago. What about putting on sunscreen? No, I, I do the spray, but actually I only do the spray like the first couple times of the sun and then I let myself burn and then I brown the rest of the year. That's usually how it works out. Cream of red works better and it's free. Cream of wheat, honey. I think you're delirium. You could eat it too, but yeah, I don't like its texture. You have to bottle it. And if yeah, yeah, you could eat aloe vera too. That's what I was saying. Like in Mexico, they could eat, they eat it, and I didn't want to put it out there, but they do. They eat aloe vera. They will. Yeah, you can bottle it and throw it. You make milk. There's already a bunch of aloe vera stuff. Oops. She only programmed porn. What are you talking about? Programming porn. Red's delusional. Red, lay down. Take some more acetaminophen. Stretch out. Drink some Gatorade. She... I get you're talking about my girl Ada. <clears throat> mm. Stop it. Stop it. Red is running a fever. <laughs> He's running a fever. Ada Lovelace did not make an OnlyFans page. She was the first computer programmer. And I forgot the quote that she said. Something about the best I could do is make my mind or make my knowledge immortal. I mean, who says that? Like, that's some, that's heavy. Like, everything I say, I'm going to make immortal, you know. And then here we are. Then here we are. How many years later, decades, centuries later, am I talking about this girl who said that exact same thing? I mean, you could say it. But the chances that, you know, <coughs> in 2020, you know, 500 years later, 600 years later, someone's going to be talking about that shit. Uh, community. Here it is. The brain of mine is something more than merely mortal, as time will show. Right? It's Ada Lovelace, not Linda Lovelace. Is Linda Lovelace an OnlyFans person? It's not Linda Lovelace. No, Ada. A-D-A. -A. Ada Lovelace. No, she died in 1852, so we're talking like, and she was born 1815, so we're probably talking like 1840-ish. Yeah. Was Linda Lovelace really an only dance person? That's so embarrassing. Don't get it confused, guys. <laughs> we're talking about women in history. <laughs> Ooh, I was scared. 
Ren Linda Lovelace wrote erotic astrology matches. I have that book. What the fuck is an erotic astrology match? What the fuck is an er I've heard of astrology matches, astrology, the stars, and you know, lining up and you should be with him. Linda Lovelace was deep. Was she an OnlyFans person? Y'all are having me look up OnlyFans people. I'm trying to stick with women in history. <laughs> How long has this Linda been around? <laughs> I like our Linda better. <laughs> I like our Linda better. I ain't even Googled her. I probably don't want to. Like she made patches of people like Taurus and Pisces if they're a good match or not. Right, but that's not erotic. That's just as astrological. Okay, I have a feeling that people know this Linda Loveless more Lovelace more than Ada. I am gonna have to Google it now. Y'all got me messed up. Now I'm curious. Y'all are taking my out of my history lesson, throw me straight into fucking sex ed. Damn it, Linda Love. Lace. Cast. Linda Lovelace children. Interview. Last photo. So she's dead. American pornographic actress. Okay, guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is not the same girl. This girl was born in 1949 in the Bronx. The chick I'm talking about was born not here, you know, and she was, I believe, in the UK, New England area over there, or England area over there. Gosh, that's not the same girl. I posted a picture of her, a painting, and not an erotic XXO painting. It's, I don't know if they're related. I don't think so. I did not promote a porn star on my women in history, okay? <laughs> Don't get it confused. <laughs> I really read up on this lady. She is really kind of cool. Like, imagine being claimed the first computer programmer. <laughs> y'all are, are sick. Y'all are so disgusting. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go use the pot. I'm going to throw one music on. <laughs> I'll be hearing back. Y'all are sad. And I'm going to read up on my Wikipedia about the American pornographic, the porn, pornographic actress, Linda Lois. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was a... Now she was. <laughs> yes, she was. Tomarin, it's a big deal. I'll be right back. One song.
Random Randy's in the house. Randy, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a while. How's the dingo? So I celebrated a girl for Women's History Month called Ada Lovelace. And then everyone said, oh, you know, there's a, not Linda Lovelace. What's her name? What's the other Lovelace? There's another Lovelace. Um, Veronica or something beautiful. Linda. Linda. Linda Lovelace. Beautiful Lovelace. Linda Lovelace. And I guess she's like an American porn star. And I guess she also invents an OnlyFans. So very crazy shit. Very crazy shit, random random. If you want some random shit welcome aboard i'm phenomenal it's so good to see you i talk about you all the time you've only been on here like two or three maybe four times but i tell people like oh yeah you guys can meet random people and good people like random randy he showed off his dingo i had to put up the wiener wall before he came on he was very patient with all that you know i don't have i don't buy subs these are just cool ass people that i've met along the way and we just pop in and out and will someone throw up random randy's link so y'all could pop in and out his because he's really a cool guy and he's got a really cute freaking dingo dog and we have a bunch of dog lovers all right how dare you <laughs> is that Rand you are random randy oh yeah oh yeah that's random randy you should do stormy daniels tomorrow Um, I'm spoken for. <laughs> I'm spoken for. <laughs> it's not Dallas, by the way. It's east of Dallas. What's east of Dallas? The colony? I don't remember where the colony is. I think that was North Dallas where I used to live. North Dallas. I did not check my Facebook messenger. I will. As soon as I get the slider too light. There we go. There's Randy Randy. He's a Maisie, guys. He just pops in. Pamela Anderson. She did have a battle with hepatitis. I'm from another community that there are at least two or three thousand of us. So maybe some of them will come by here. I hope so, because we could come by there too. We should combine the communities, Randy. Like we have thousands of people here too. You're, they're not on my stream right now, you know. But if you go to the admirals and you combine the admirals with, you know, his uh, uh, obsessive stalker Angie, and then my obsessive stalker Billy, and then Sparky with her. Five million bolt subs. You know Tommy Temper? Do you know Tommy Temper? Are you a Tommy Temper guy? You ever popped in there? You ever heard of Tommy Temper? He used to be a well, he used to be a big streamer. Now he's you know just a shit talker like us. But you know he used to do something with his life. He just does it now. Yeah, y'all are terrible. We do have some terrible people in here. But we love each other. We're a good family. We help each other. We do fundraisers to help people and everything else. It's it's going to be, yeah. Yes, but his dingo is calm as shit. Like, well, you can't say calm like, you know, like, you know, <laughs> drooling dog, you know. But this dog was just sitting there and, you know, kiss him on the face and, like, be there. It was, it was a great stream. 70s porn is fun because y'all don't get the reference. I've never seen 70s porn. Is there a disco ball involved? And roller skates? Disco ball and roller skates. Is Captain Britney in the house? <sighs> Captain Dan. Where's Captain Brenda? Oh, I don't see her. Let's not promote. No, we're not promoting. Absolutely not. We're uh, we're magging them. I'm gonna try to mag them again. Have Sparky make it back home. She did. She did. I hadn't really been following her on what she's doing. Hadn't really been getting shorts or 
uh, post about her, little clips about her. So she's obviously been been being a good girl. She's been a good girl. I love seventies porn music. It makes me shake my ass. Is that like the regular porn music? Like bounch, 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 bounch. Is that that? Debbie does dingoes. Sounds like a different type of porn, K.O.B. <laughs> um, I'm not going to ask that question. It's those shag carpet conversation pits with weed, wine, and couples mingling. I don't get it. Shag carpet conversation pits. Shag carpet. I know shag carpets. I don't know what a conversation pit is. I know what weed is. I know what wine is. Couples mingling, like networking. I know that too. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm the best reader of comments ever. Fuck you, Minty. I do it better. Fuck you, Minty. I do it better. <laughs> Because I read on too. I read on too, but it's funnier coming from me. Because <laughs> I really did just read one word at a time, not one word in advance. That's why I was like, boom, chicka, wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> Commingling, yeah. Oh, that's for 90s porn. Shit. I don't know. Bad Roll used to call me a fucking millennial anyway. So I guess is that millennial porn? What's millennial porn? Like, bam, 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 bam. bam. I, I don't know how to do it. I gotta watch more porn. <laughs> I gotta watch more porn to make an educated sound right here. <laughs> Clip record, clip record. They were swingers. Sheesh, that's 70s porn to me. Swingers like the fishbowl swingers where they put the keys in the fishbowls. And then you pull out a key. I don't know. I always wondered, what if a guy pulled out a dude's key? You know, back then. Back then, you know, what they do, what happened? The world may never know that I was before internet. <laughs> I'm sure you did, Dan. <laughs> it's going to be shown at the second annual New Year's Eve Pirate Gala and Awards. <laughs> Skinamax is 90s porn. I have no fucking clue what Skinamax is. Absolutely none. It sounds like a fucking horror movie. Skinamax. Like, no fucking thank you. I like my skin. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> Swapping wives and hubbies, yeah. No, no. Pirates and Care Bears share, but not wives and hubbies. No, it's not a good idea. Keep your skin. Everyone, keep your own skin. Angie, pull your skin back. It's running away. <laughs> Maybe he wants to join the Skinamax that carnival.
getting educated. I'm getting educated, y'all. Getting educated. Okay, I'm gonna start sweating because I'm embarrassed and y'all can't even see me. But yeah, my face is red and all that. So I learned something. So what was it called? What a max. What did they say a max up here? The skin of max. Okay, so skin of max. For y'all don't know who don't know. There's 52 people. It's not just me who doesn't know this stuff. <sighs> I'm gonna. I'm going to educate you about the world. So, I guess back in the 90s. Okay, I was still young in the fucking 90s. Maybe that's why. So, in the 90s, Cinemax, after dark, like one, 12 or 1 or whatever, would turn into... Cinemax would turn into Skinemax, which means it would show porno movies, like after 12 o'clock. And when I asked, like, you know, well, how long <laughs> did it go on for? Like, was it 12 to 1, 12 to 2, 12 to 3, 12 to 5, 30? I mean, how long did it last? And my friend said, well, it lasted till at least 12, 10. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He, he did. He's trying to explain it to me. He's trying to explain it. Who the fuck is John Holmes? That's like Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes and what was his friend? Is, was it John Holmes? Was John Holmes and Sherlock Holmes related? Or was that his little sidekick? In a trench coat with a little hat and a monocle. What's hard? Yeah, I've never heard of John Holmes. Now I'm curious. Back to being curious, guys. Crikey! You discovered it, Holmes! Yo, yo, yo! Do you. Hey, sit in Squirmy Wormy. Do you know who John Holmes is? Maybe I could put him on my Celebrate Men's Month one day. John H. How do you spell it? H O L M S. Yeah, Holmes. He was an actor. Oh. American Horror Graphic Film Actor, the most prolific adult film performer with documented credits. 573 films? Dude, he had such a mustache. It's like a beard on his stash area. Like, it was thick as fuck. What the hell? What was that called? John Holmes. Piece of the past. <laughs> what is this one With John Holmes in the French throat. <laughs> He's definitely not going on, on, on the list. <laughs> he reminds me of somebody. I can't remember who. Keep looking at different photos. I'm not looking at dirty photos. <coughs> what is. He had a movie out! No, a real movie. Not those movies, y'all silly. Of course, he had those movies. <laughs> I'm talking about this movie. Look, it's called Wad. <laughs> he has a movie called Wad Out. <laughs> How fitting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's Tin Hands hashtag 
five sets of hands covering his wad. I don't know if I'd even want to watch that. That sounds not a road through Wonderland surviving John Holmes. What the fuck? What the fuck? A road through Wonderland sur surviving John Holmes. Well, well, hell. If it took 10 hands to cover that motherfucker. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. What the fuck? <laughs> run, run, run. As if your life depended on it because it probably does. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What is wrong with people? I can't look at... I can't click links. Sorry, y'all can. Part 3 called Wad... Whatever. <laughs> is that for real? Is that really what it's called? <laughs> we're... We're educating myself on some John Holmes wads and Linda Lovelace wads and this all started... Because of women in history, and I was talking about Ada Lovelace, somebody brought up Linda, and it just spiraled out of fucking control from there. So now I'm getting educated on, like, the difference between 70s and 90s porn sounds. And I didn't even know, <laughs> I've never heard a fucking wad, John C. Holmes superstar. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Fire your graphic designers immediately. <laughs> Riddle does it better. <laughs> Riddle could go with something better, John. <laughs> Red Mama John H has a huge penis. Does he? I never met the guy. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> no, you know, don't click on any of the links in here. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Let your sound minded body don't click on that. Any links. <laughs> I'm clicking on enough for all of us, y'all. I can't find this I would back of it. Oh, it's on my phone. Got it. We're all making jokes. Click it. Well, the Admiral says click it. That means don't click it. <laughs> no. I'm not snorting. Not to tall. Thunder just came on the radio on your way home. Thunder. But the thunder, well, I guess if John C. Holmes is carrying a package, <laughs> he's bringing on the, the, the thunder. Click them all, Crystal. I can't on StreamYard. I'm sure I'll get sent the links. I'm sure I got a bunch of links already sent. I'm going to learn a lot tonight, guys. Damn it, Admiral. There's another one. Liar snorts. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be a big girl. I'm trying to show y'all what I'm looking up. This all started because of Ada Lovelace. But guess what we're doing? Okay, so all this shit aside, you want to dot, dot, dot and come full circle? We could not be doing this tonight if it wasn't for Ada Lovelace who was accredited to being the first computer programmer back in like the 1830s, somewhere back there, you know, early to mid 1800s. So there she blows full circle. I connected it 
all this whole fucking chat. I connected it all together. We could joke about whatever now. I connected our women in history woman of the day to all this. What well, not the porn, please, Jesus. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. I connected her. No, I just came in a full circle. <laughs> She's nowhere connected. Y'all are silly, silly, silly people. I don't know how you guys know these people. How, who sits there and remembers a girl named Linda Lovelace who's a porn star who stalks all my pants? Who knows that? Nobody. And then you add in the Sherlock Holmes fella. I mean, what the fuck? Y'all are using a lot of room for shit that doesn't need to be. I mean, and then turn the plates over and do the dirt. I mean, shit like that. Oh, stop. Ava, and it wasn't Ava. You go ahead and do that. It wasn't Ava. Ada Lovelace. Ada, ADA. ADA, Ada. Debbie knows. What do you know, Debbie? What do you know, Debbie? Tell me what you know, Debbie. Better to blow the top versus the bottom. I'm not upset. I'm not blowing up. What are you talking about? Blow the top? There she blows. Oh, when I was laughing. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't poop. Ask Red. I don't poop in front of him. He's never heard it. I hide. <laughs> it wasn't me either. I don't know these. Don't click on Red's links because I don't know if they're safe. They're probably not safe. And he's sick. So it's probably going to be extra unsafe. These are my warnings to you, but yar pirates so i already know what the fuck you're going to get into i'm looking for the fucking i'm looking for my page on my other phone because i'm going to click the links i try to warn you all about things i'm trying to help i'm trying to help i respect all the groundwork laid for me ahead of time i respect all that spall I just, I'm learning certain people and like, you know, I didn't know about Linda. I didn't know about Sherlock other than he was a detective. It's only YouTube links. So was naked yoga, motherfucker. <laughs> so was naked yoga. And then that you kicked off. Red's links are never safe. That's all I say. Don't you remember Fet Life Matters? Oh, I forgot about Fet Life. That's like Facebook for Linda Lovelace. It's like a OnlyFans Facebook page, right? Yeah, that just happened. I just heard about that riddle. What the fuck? Those people were horrible to her. <laughs> they were they were horrible to her. 
I did say naked yogurt. I was hoping y'all didn't hear it, and I didn't have to go back and correct myself. But thank you, Yancey, <laughs> for having fucking 2020 hearing. <laughs> yes, naked yogurt. I said it by accident, like the second time. I add some extra verbiage, words, and sounds. Chicka filet, picnic. Barbara, I mean, take your pick. <laughs> I do that. Nikki, oh, it's Freebird. Yes, I do that. <laughs> You're all grounded. Get to shore. <laughs> they better take the dinghy. I ain't going to shore. <laughs> They'll find me there. <laughs> this is the best conversation, if you love. I think we're having a bunch of fun. It's Taco Tuesday. I, we're laughing. We're laughing. Nothing's going to get us down. Yes. <laughs> Snorts matter and throw out a life vest for a riddle. <laughs> Actually, send a whole fucking dinghy after that girl. <laughs> She's got a lot of people with her. She's got hash browns, dad aunt, um, Schuler, uh, who else? Spall, New Spall. <laughs> I'm trying to name all of Riddle's alts. I just can't. You got all the booty on the dinghy? Nope. Nope. You're not taking that one. You're not taking that dinghy. That's the survival dinghy. You, you leave that shit for the captain. You're the admiral. <laughs> Save the admiral. Take him on down. Throw them in the front ship and sail them off <laughs> for safety. Crystal's special soundboard. Bounch, 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 bam, bam. They better ride the dinghy, she says. Unbelievable. <laughs> the dinghy is for safety. It's like a little lifeboat. If the ship. Yeah, if there's injury to the ship, jump in and dingy. Save yourselves. I'll save the ship. <laughs> Great yoga is better than naked. Goat yoga is better than naked yoga. What the fuck is goat yoga? Please don't tell me that's a thing. Do you stretch your own goat or does the goat stretch himself? Is it is is it forcible yoga? Is it forced yoga? Yoga. Goat yoga. <laughs> so we gave goat yoga a try. Goat yoga. There goes the yoga mat. There's two people. They're holding goats. Okay, so now they're still talking. I'm going to try it. So then they get there and these people are doing fucking yoga. And their goats are just walking around being goats. So goat yoga is just bringing your goats to your yoga session to get in your way. Uh, I'll pass. I thought if it was something cool, I'm like, shit, I know people, I could borrow a fucking goat. Like, let's figure out what we're doing here. It doesn't look fun for me. It's like, you know, just watching kids, <laughs> literally, because baby goats are kids. It's funny. That's a quote, John Holmes. Yeah, John Holmes is a big old ding ding -di -di is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I guess I did it all to myself. I'm trying. I'm here. I've been here the whole time. I just didn't know a bunch of dirty stuff. I still don't know a bunch of dirty stuff. I was not. I don't know. I wasn't sheltered. Just... There were certain things that wasn't spoken about. <laughs> like Linda Lovelace. Who the fuck knows that? Shit. 
honestly, until I was looking up some great women, I didn't know who Ada was. Lovelace. Who searches Linda Lovelace? I mean, and it just pops up. Porn dinghies. I just can't see a chart My two girls woke up. <laughs> two girls, one dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call hippie. <laughs> Someone call hippie. Two girls, one dinghy. <laughs> Is it a therapy for those ghosts who freeze and faint? No. No, it's not. It's yoga people go and do yoga and they let their pet yo uh, their pet goats just run around them and do nothing like just walk around while they're doing yoga or do you mean one hippie and d shit uh one dinghy no two no one dinghy two girls and d shit <laughs> there's a sale running on that that's what i heard yeah, check your clearance and sales section. Yeah, oh, I didn't see the goats on their back. They were just walking around them. I don't know what that is. Saw goats. Saw a goat piss on lady's back. Well, <laughs> that's not very nice at all. What the fuck? I'm never bringing you back here again. I paid to have you piss on my back. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That ain't happening. <laughs> I am all cat yoga. I could do, I could imagine cat yoga, though. Your shells are love. You, you don't know the basis. No. And I don't know about flipping them over and doing people in dirt. Never heard of it. I mean, I heard of bases, just I didn't know what it really meant. Thanks for educating me now to a horrible world. People are dirty minded out there. Like, there's some things like, it's not even funny. That's disgusting. It's crazy. <laughs> no offense. Some things are funny, though. It's like, oh my gosh, who would think of that? Where are all these people thinking of these things? The Admiral's taught me a lot. So now I'm just wondering, where did he learn them from? And you have to, we'll just have to follow the whole line back. Like, who came up with this shit? Mm -hmm. It wasn't the internet, because this shit's been out before the internet. This is some old shit they talk about. Oh, look, thank you. The real 1776MG Media is in the house. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Who's won first base? Who's won first base? Okay, so first base is hugging. I think he said. So, a lot of people's hugged. Second base is kissing. Third base is touching. And fourth base is all the way. Like, you know, you do, you bump nasties. There's like 72 people in here. I'm just trying to educate anyone. Because I know there's, I'm not the only one, guys. First base is kissing. Yeah. Second base. Yeah. No, I thought first base was like hugging and stuff. Yeah. And second base is kissing. Third base is touching the boobies or whatever. And then fourth base is you're bumping egglies.
Okay, guys. I I've been educated again. So let me let me. I'm learning still, so vibe with me. So first base is kissing. Now, whenever I said it was like hugging and holding hands, I guess that's just called pre-base workup or workout warm-up. So that's just warm-up when you're holding hands and kissing. Or holding hands and hugging. But kissing is first base. Boobies are second. Third base, you're touching uglies. And home plate, you're bumping uglies. Mater did invent bases, and then he retired. If he is here, he could tell me exactly, but I believe that's what I was just told to correct myself. I thought hugging and holding hands was in there. I guess I was sadly mistaken. Um, That's called overtime, MJ. Isn't that overtime? When they had to take it into overtime, they put on diapers and shit in it. And one partner eats it. That sounds about right. I'll wait for another text message to educate me on the uh, crapping in a diaper base. <laughs> um, but if we're talking about crapping in a diaper base, we had to talk about eating crap from a diaper base. So, I don't know. It's a very fluid situation. <laughs> it's out of the ballpark. <laughs> I did. I said, uh, I said a disclaimer. I posted it and everything. Come on, y'all. We're learning, we're growing as people from different areas of the world. <laughs> we're educating one another. Made or did retire from this. Why does Dan know everything? Junior's like, ask Dan, he should know. HR, you're HR, you're human resources. I should be able to come to you about anything. <laughs> Diapers out field? No. They threw a diaper out into the field. <laughs> What's up, people? Some of the south is here. What's going on? Some of the south. Entries in the house. Lord have Murphy. I don't know. I don't know. We're learning. We're growing as people. Oh, good D's here. Guess what? I kicked out the, the bad D with flowers this morning. Did you guys see that? She came in and she was being cordial. And then she said some shit to Lucky. And then she said some shit to Free Boob. Free Bird, my girl. And I'm like, oh. And this is all within like 60 seconds of interaction on the morning stream. I'm like... Are you not aware of the first rule of being a pirate? <laughs> yeah, you can't come in and fuck around with pirates and then expect open arms. Diaper is foul. Foul ball. I don't know. Diaper is foul. The closer you get to hippie, the fucking deeper this shit gets she does I know she does I've seen them that's why I was like because I know D with flowers is horrible this D is, is the good D we all like the good D we don't like the flower D yeah I get little shots usually I get screenshots that has nothing to do with her but you'll see her like a couple comments above those, and it'll be some shitty shit like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. One of y'all's asked, like, or told her, like, oh, are you being nice? And extending them all a branch. She's like, not to you. Like, yeah. <gasps> Aww. Hitless in 
house. What's going on? What's up? Uh, I just want to say, because I'm not going to go live to do it, but Troublemaker, your timeline is off. If your timeline was right, I would have never been able to show that picture because I wouldn't have jeopardized the restraining order that was being held over my head at that point. So your little timeline of you going to the rodeo and that picture getting taken on the same night that you went to the rodeo, you're full of shit. You're full of shit and you're a fucking liar. And that fucking list, that fucking list that you said supposedly exists, Riddle said today, when I go live, I'll show it all. But she literally said today, there was no list of anyone's personal information. No list. Nope. So show me where you have proof, like you said, right? Proof where you said that you have proof that Riddle said that she has a list that I gave her of everyone's personal information. I want to see that receipt because you're the one that said that you had it. So if you got it, let's see it. Because I can show you the real receipt that was sent to me today from Riddle about the supposed list you're talking about. No, you're talking about no, four screen names. names you said. Four screen names. No personal information. Nothing. Screen names. And to Angie, do you want to say that I'm making up accusations and I'm lying? Your girl last night just accused me of going through my ex-wife's phone while she was sleeping, I guess. Going on her Facebook and taking everyone's personal information, writing it down. And saving it. Do you know how stupid you sound? Do you think I didn't have enough going on at that point? That's what I was worried about? You think that's what I was worried about, huh? But that's right. You can make accusations, right? And be like, well, you probably, you probably went through Mel's phone and got my information that way. Oh, I probably did, huh? Just so you know. Me and Mel had one of those kind of relationships. We, we never looked at each other's phone. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Unless one of us were like, hey, here, check this out. Or check that out. Or like, you know, something like that. But never once did either one of us look inside each other's phone. You and your husband might be like that. You know, because you're a lying bitch and he fucking knows it. So he's got to check you out and make sure you ain't fucking around on him. I think he needs to check hers. Guess what? That's not the way that went down. Not the way that went down. And your timeline is way off, girl. Way off. Ten months ago, I couldn't talk about AP. And I knew it. And I didn't. And I didn't talk about her for six months. You forget that, huh, you tell her? So your whole little timeline is like thrown out of fucking... Like, you're done, girl. You're done. You done overplayed your hand. Hey, you and Beth Emerald, both. Emerald, Emerald, wait, 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 wait. Just because I think you said it backwards earlier, uh, Troublemaker wants you to clarify again. You're not talking about Troublemaker. You're talking about... Um, no, no, Truth Teller. Yeah, yeah, truth yeah, yeah, Teller, yeah. Uh, truth yeah, Teller yeah. in Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make that aware because yeah, no, I think we aware. messed it up earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I fucked... I'm not feeling you're good, sick. trust me, guys. Yeah, like, you're sick, I know. I'm starting to fucking get all sweaty just now, just doing what I did. I was totally fine, and then I start fucking talking, and I'm already fucking sweating my fucking balls off. And no, I'm not coming down from any fucking DTs. I'm actually fucking sick. Eat a fucking flying bag of dicks, you pieces of shit.
But yeah, y'all are fucking stupid, like straight up. Like y'all are fucking stupid. Y'all are really stupid because you forget that, you know, you might have thought that you took all the old school pirates with you guys, but y'all are wrong. There's a lot of old school pirates that are still around that remember all that shit. That's why I don't need receipts. I don't need to show receipts for any of this. People remember. Remember? Words matter. I'm sure a lot of people in here could go in their fucking old text messages where Beth was bragging about what she did. But hey, I'm wrong. And I'm just making accusations. But I'm not the one saying, hey, you might have went into your ex-wife's phone and took all of our private information out. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? Crystal, when we were together, have I ever went once in your phone? Besides to get like a video or something that I needed. Like, did I ever go through your fucking phone? One time. Never. Not once. Weird. Really weird. You know the password, everything, but no, you never, ever went on my phone and looked for anything. And it's like, unless it's like, hey, do you have a screenshot from, you know, a couple of days ago when this said that or that said that? Oh, yeah, I got it here. Here, right. here it is. Yeah, but no, no, you never went while I'm sleeping and went to my phone, ever. Well, no, that's what Troublemaker is trying to, I mean, not Troublemaker, sorry. Like I said, girl, my head is not right. True Teller is trying to say that I went through Melanie's phone while she was sleeping to take out everybody's personal information. And I wrote it down. Here's the thing. Red doesn't write. <laughs> no offense. Red doesn't write shit down. If anything, he'll take screenshots. And if that was the case, that bitch would have screenshots. She'd be throwing out right now the screenshots you took, but she doesn't because that never happened. Therefore, y'all do the math. Red doesn't write. He doesn't get a pen and paper, a pencil and pen, anything to fucking write down anything. Never. Ever, ever, ever. He'll screenshot that shit very fast, though. And those phones that I would have screenshotted and I would have had that information on are long gone. Long, long gone. And Angie, if you want some information, I dare you to go find that phone. I dare you to walk 12 miles through what I walked through to find that phone. I dare you. I dare you. Uh, Jesse Howard, wifey, her agenda is to fuck over Red just for the simple fact that he doesn't want her. She's so obviously obsessed with this man and became this stalker type girlfriend, ex-girlfriend type, and he ain't even giving her the D. But she's she can't get him. She can't live without him. She can't live without him. Not for one day. Not for 24 hours. Can she not talk, think? Just, I don't even give a fuck. You could talk about him. Just don't think about him. <laughs> Imagine that. You can't stop thinking about this man. From the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. And the man that should be in the head of one woman would be your husband, your boyfriend, the person you love the most. Chimp isn't in her mind. That's not who is controlling her head and her thoughts. Red is. Her children aren't controlling her thoughts and what she should do next. Red is. Red is so far. She is so far obsessed with Red. She doesn't know what she is anymore because all she is is someone wanting Red. That's all she is. And that's obvious. It's obvious. And I'm sorry, Angie, don't want you like that. Just move on, girl. Jesus Christ. If Red would talk about a chick as much as you talk about Red, we have issues. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. 
every day, day and night. Red, 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 red. <laughs> Angie, Jesus. I'm not saying get a job. I'm not saying get a hobby. I'm just saying get anything to take over your mind other than red. I'm sorry. And it's so important well, to you. Just because you got me on the mind so much doesn't mean everyone forgot. Because we all remember where that picture came from. Okay, we all know that that picture was literally taken in the middle of the night. Okay, because the headlights were shining on the fucking address on the door just to show that we were there. You see? Troublemaker, you want to be like, oh, it was just three random houses. Oh, it was just three random houses? That's what you're going to say. That's your excuse. Oh, it was just three random houses. You don't, nobody knows whose house it was. Excuse me? What is wrong with you people? Like, you women, like, honestly have this thing in your head where you think you can do whatever the fuck you want to anyone. And then when it happens to you, it's the world is coming to an end. You all need to realize the game you're playing. You made yourself public. You could have just hid. You didn't have to send me that picture. I could have got it from anyone. I was working on getting it from someone in 76. That's why I didn't need you. And you want to lie and be like, oh, I didn't take it. Someone I know did. So what, you had your husband go there? Do you think that it's any different? Is it any different? It wasn't you. It was your husband. Oh, okay. Because your husband totally knew all the shit that was going on. He was totally involved. Like, just the shit that you said, babe, can you read it? Like, I don't have my other phone. But what that you whole fucking paragraph, that whole fucking book report that she wrote is just amazing. And it's just mind-boggling that this is how they all think. And this is what I wanted the point I want to get across tonight on your channel if I can. Is this is how they all think. They think that they can do whatever the fuck they want. And it's totally okay because they got some kind of stupid excuse for why they did it. It's like, what is wrong with you people? I tell you, her own people don't even chat or respond to her when she rants about red. I know they're sick of it. They're like, man, move on. They're looking at her too, like a, <laughs> a straight stalker. I'm sorry, Angie, and I don't have to say anything else. So it took you five weeks to get over your your first husband, at a minimum. It's taking you, I don't know how long it was really fast that you turned on red and now that's your obsession i mean lord have mercy i i don't know angie there's very there's something very wrong with you very wrong y'all go look at her channels every last video is about red me or one of us and it's all red 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 red, red. chimp where are you Hashtag penis power. Give her some. Give her some. The fuck is wrong with you? Give her a little penis power so she shuts the fuck up about another man. I'm talking about you, champ loves wrestling. I will fucking straight tag your ass in this fucking stream so you get it. Angie, are you sharing your obsession with your fucking husband? Are you sharing your obsession day and night and in all in minutes in between of red with your husband? Here's another one. Uh, Truth teller. Red, you better never talk about a woman even a quarter as much as this fucking bitch talks about you. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> but here's another one, right? And she's got kids. <laughs> so true, teller. 
Do you like lying on Riddle? Huh? Truth teller, you want to put out a whole paragraph about something that you talk to Riddle about? That I gave Riddle a list of everyone's personal information? Are you sure about that? You're going to lie on Riddle, huh? Of all people, truth teller, you're going to start lying on Riddle? To the point where I gave all that personal information. Personal information, huh? Screen names. So I didn't know screen names turned into personal information. Oh, and you're saying, this is why I want you to read this, babe. Please. Uh, do what you got to do so you can read this. Because I'm telling you, there's a lot of information inside what she wrote that she doesn't even realize what she said. Because, you know, it's just another stupid drama, bitch. So Is it on just, 1692? Uh-huh. Yeah. We can go over it in detail. Like, you have no idea what you done did. Truth teller, you know, no idea what you done did. We all know the truth. All the old school pirates know the truth. You know, you can twist your narrative to all your new people or, you know, your seven stupid bitter bitches because, you know, they all believe your same fucking stupid nonsense, all of you. That's fine. All right, you ready to start with the first one where she denies her going, even though her truck with the AP hunting sticker was on it? Yep. <laughs> So she said, I have never went to AB's house. However, I do know who took the picture, though, and it wasn't in the middle of the night. AP knows I lie. didn't take the pic. She was having me followed at a rodeo the same exact night, and you knew that. That's a lie. Um, I'm not a magician. I can't be in two places at once. You see, Red, not everything is about you. AP and I were having issues Long before you and I, long before you came around, I found you through AP. That is how you and I became friends. We had a common bond. We both disliked AP. She and I go back to her beginning on these streets. So to say she wasn't messing with me is a lie. I was being followed at a rodeo for goodness sake. She went to the bar I hang out at hoping to find us there. She was getting a taste of her own medicine. Oh! A getting taste of her own medicine as in being followed? Technically, she was asking people to pull up to her house. She said it many times. She gave it back to me by actually doxing me. The so-called picture that was taken really didn't show a thing except for a truck in front of three houses. A house she would never be able to find because no addresses were displayed. That's false. I found it. <laughs> yeah, just bitch, it don't take much for Google. Anyways, how'd you know to be fine because of no address that were displayed? However, thanks to you, she showed a picture of my entire house in the daylight, announced my name, what street I lived on, showed pictures of me, my family, the truck we had. All the family were taken from my Facebook page, except for the pictures of the house. Mel and I were friends on Facebook at the time. One can only assume you went into Mel's phone and got into got all the info off my Facebook page because that is something you actually did to other friends of yours. How else would she find out my real name? AP and I had our spat. Yes, we absolutely did. I will never deny it. But you see, we came to an understanding and realized it's just not worth it and chose to leave each other alone. However, I do have proof from Riddle. That you did give her a list of your so-called friends to AP. Bring it out. Bring it out, Truth Teller. Bring out the personal information of the so-called friends. Riddle said, I wasn't on it, though. She also said in this same conversation that you threatened to nap her. Angie already posted the proof once already. Remember? Why do we need to post something again that's already been proven? Everybody saw it. Y'all see everything Angie posts. 
We all know that. I guess you and Riddle have some things to discuss. Ask her why she threw you under the bus like that. Don't call me out for it. You are the one that sends your so-called friends down the river and still treat them like friends until it all blew up. You see, AP and I were never friends. We were always enemies. You did all this to your friends. Well, they thought they were your friends. Some friend you are. This will be the once and only time I address you. I do want to thank you for introducing me to find five wonderful bitches. I'm sorry. Five wonderful ladies whom I have grown to love and respect. You know who they are. Remember your so-called friends you try to destroy? Or maybe they try to destroy you. Also, I want to thank you for doing a live about me and how bad of a person you think I am for defending myself and leaving all out, leaving out all, hold on, of the details. As you say, details matter, remember? Ooh. Red threatened to kidnap me and throw me, my dogs, and all my solar shit in his ex wife trunk. <laughs> For a charger. Yep, he had a loving, caring reason. Why? But that's none of your business. <laughs> yep, I was taking Riddle. I was going to take Riddle to Ninja's house. You're going to stay. With the whole baseball bat thing. The whole baseball bat thing, truth teller. You lying. I never said that about Riddle. You lying. And I want to threat like we're gonna you're gonna go kidnap Riddle, throw him in the car, and you're going and you're on your way. It wasn't like that. It was we're coming to save you, girl. We got your ass. Let's just put that out there. Um, we did have a pirate somewhere. I don't know who pirate it was, it was under a name, but um, I did get wind that there was a pirate that had put it in a chat. Saying AP should come out and defend herself, but AP's not interested in defending herself against Angie because she just doesn't feel she's that fucking worth it. No, <laughs> no. Why? Because AP also knows the truth, and she's like, "I'm not getting in inside of this stupid ass <laughs> bullshit with these bitches." I know, like Debbie, I wasn't any part of that shit. Like you talk about wood riddle in a confined area. I'm good. <laughs> Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> I'll get a phone call for real like a couple hours later, like, dude, come get him. All right, put one more song on. I'll be right back, and then we're going to finish all the night, you know, in like a couple hours. Give me one more uh, break. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the potty, and yeah. Entertain yourselves. Red, hold on.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Can't even speak my mind to those biatches because I'm blocked. I know. That's my biggest problem. That right there is my biggest problem. These bitches, these six, seven bitches want to talk shit about like six or seven bitches over here. But those bitches are too scared and they block, they block them. You can't go and defend yourself because they know what will happen. They know what will happen. They know what will happen if they get exposed. So therefore, she's just like DOA and AP and all them where they block everyone who disagrees with them and, and, and don't let them up. My gas tank was emptied. The only reason you're going to get fucked up if you talk about a fucking fellow pirate or use the N-word. Fucking two rules, being a pirate. <laughs> so, I would suggest 1692 underscore RM and Chip's mom to grow a set of balls. Before you post anything or say anything, grow a set of balls. I would say ask your husband about that, but to be quite honest, I think you would grow a set of balls before he does. It's just me. Yep. I ain't a truth teller. I'm just saying truth fucking hurts. Truth fucking hurts. He can't, he can't have babies. That's why he's got to adopt them. I would like I would like to know <sighs> when Stanley the third's birthday is. Just curious. When's when's little Stanley's birthday? I'm curious. I want to do the math. So hold on. Let's get back to this true teller shit. And Angie sticking up for this bitch. Are oh, you she sure? Stuck up Billy too. I mean, she sticks up for liars. Are you sure? and so true teller, you said that you had proof. Angie, you're all about receipts. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure if you had some ammo like that, you would already drop that shit because you would show that I was untrustworthy, but y'all mm -hmm. don't because I have never given anyone's private information to anyone. Why? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I don't know it. I just don't know it. So you can sit there and say, oh, I copied it down. Where the fuck did I copy it down? I wrote it down in a book. What, I put it in my cell phone that I don't have anymore? Red don't write, guys. Like, I what are you talking about? Everyone. Red don't write. Red don't write, guys. What are you talking about, though? Huh? What are you talking about? It makes no sense about what you're saying. Only to you seven bitter bitches. Because even chill is starting to see through your bullshit now, huh? Ain't that funny? She did suggest that Chill Pill didn't want. No, no, Chill Pill and Chilled are two different people. There's a Chill Pill and then there's a Chilled. It's two different ones. Trust me. They won't listen to you. That's the problem. We can say whatever we want and, and show evidence. They don't give a shit. They don't well, give a shit. Angie has bitches. to be in control. Angie's all Look, about it's control. only the seven bitter bitches and a couple fucking simps. You got Chris Oldman, right? Like and Danny. Name shit. Danny, who wanted to go after me who decided it would be a good idea because the Italian princess pumped her his fucking head up to go after easy about me working on YouTube. 
But now Angie has a whole entire office set up because this is going to be her new job is to work on YouTube. So please, Danny, I don't give a fuck if you're a veteran or not. You don't you don't lost that. You don't lost that the minute you decided that it was all right for a woman to work on YouTube, but not a man. So you don't lost that whole aspect with me, bro. You don't care about my freedoms. You only care about what freedoms do you want to put out to anyone you want to put out to. And you're a fake ass veteran. And I hope the worst of the worst happens to you because you deserve it. Because you took an oath to upstand, uh, uphold the constitution and you just let it down by not letting me have a job on YouTube, but letting Angie. So way to go, bro. Way to go fucking up your own oath. You think I'm ever going to respect you? Never. See, I was able to do that without threatening anyone. But I sure don't got my point across to you. And Minty Cactus. And fucking Italian Princess. And fucking Angie. Sparky, you're just along for the ride. Truth Teller, you're a lying hoe. We got the facts. We got the facts, Truth Teller. But you're going to lie. You're going to lie? You got proof that I gave personal information out. Please show. If not... That's what they call game, set, served. Should have thought about what you were doing before you got involved. Before you want to try to blame me for giving your fucking personal information that I supposedly, supposedly, maybe... Maybe at one point allegedly got from Melanie's cell phone. Are you fucking stupid? You know, some of us aren't like your husband where they don't go through your cell phone. Some of us trust people and just don't go through their fucking shit and would never do it because that's their private shit. Some of us are like that. I guess not all of us. And sure as fuck not your husband. Or you, for that matter. But fuck if I if I fuck fuck if I if I look like you, I'd understand why I did. What I gotta do. Where I gotta go through my husband's cell phone and be like, hey, who's bit who 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 you fucking who you fucking, huh? Because I know you ain't fucking my own from up a lot looking ass. Crystal, get that off there. Crystal, get that off there. Trust me. We can't play their game right now. That's what they want us to do. We can't play their game. We got to do exactly what we're doing right now. Calmly, peacefully. Just calling them out on their bullshit. That's what we got to do. I know you don't like doing that. Come on, Crystal. Love you, girl, but calm, cool, and collected right now. That's the way to get through. Calm, cool, and collected. And then they don't know what to do because they don't know how to handle it. Trust me. Have faith.
let them keep lying on Riddle, right? That's the best thing we got going for us right now. Is let them keep lying on Riddle. I want to see these receipts that they got on Riddle. But you just keep lying on Riddle and watch what happens. Huh? You got to keep lying on Riddle? <laughs> like I gave Riddle any kind of personal information? You know what I gave Riddle? My own information. Hey, Riddle, if you can, if you're here, put that video back up, please. Uh, the one me and uh, when I was in Tupelo. Let me show the private information that I gave out. Huh? Cause I'll play it. I'll have Crystal play it. Y'all are so full of shit, your eyes are brown. And I don't know if that's just because you're like, you know, grown up in the backwoods or whatever, but y'all are full of shit, your eyes are brown. And Angie, you should know better than this. Why you're getting involved in this one now is going to be really bad. Because imagine, just imagine. If I was to talk to AP right now, everything that you've been saying will be destroyed. Will be destroyed. But you think you know some shit? So where's this proof that I gave Riddle everyone's personal information? Come on, Angie. True Teller doesn't get to make those accusations without having the actual receipts. So where are they? What are the receipts that I gave Riddle everyone's personal information? A whole list of whole personal information. Where is it? Guarantee you there's not one. Dumbass motherfuckers. But this is who you listen to. Chris Oldman. Fucking Captain Squidward Pants. This is who you listen to. These lying ass bitches. They want to say all this shit, but they ain't got nothing. Not a fucking thing. Show me where I sent Riddle anyone's personal information. Anyone's. One person. Give me one person. I dare you. Yes, I'm not feeling good. But it doesn't stop the fact that you're all a bunch of fucking hypocritical fucking liars. Hypocritical fucking liars. Like I said, I'll go right back to that post. There ain't one person in that fucking post that didn't fuck with me before I fucked with them. In real life. Not one. 
Show me one. Oh, that's right, you can't. Losers. All right, babe, I gotta take a minute. I gotta, I'm fucking starting to sweat and everything again. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, he's going crazy. <laughs> I don't call churches. I don't attend either. It wouldn't be a smart idea, especially if you're planning on making threats. Mm -hmm. It's 9.30, y'all. And I don't really honestly want him to come back on just because I know he doesn't feel well. So I'm going to sneak off, and I love y'all, and I hope we had a great filling night, and I'll see you tomorrow, and, you know, we could back chat it up and all that good stuff, but I am going to jump off at the moment. Love, 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 hugs, 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 bunch of real life shit I have to do, even still. So um, I'll see y'all later. Love, love, love. I'll let the captain know that, or the admiral know that. I snuck off the ship. Shut it down. He does need to get some rest, though. And if I stay on, he will try to come back on. And he still, you see him. He's still up there. He's waiting. He doesn't need this. So I'm let's. Uh, I know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Good night. I'm fine. I'm fine. Good night, Admiral. Good night, I'm everybody. Fine. Love, love, love. Bye. I'm fine.